Hello fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson and today I want to explain why I believe King Harold may have been responsible for an ogre genocide. And if that is true, it would truly be the event that set the stage for everything else that happened in the Shrek saga thus far. You see, for the longest time, I've had a dark lingering solution to why the ogres isolated themselves across the world ever since I recognized King Harold referencing his time as a warrior. It's the old uh, crusade wound playing up a bit. <laughs> At some point in Harold's past, after he became romantically involved with his wife Lillian, he was in a violent conflict that permanently injured him, and I think it might have been a purge against one of the most hated fairy tale creatures in existence, the ogres. Come on, Shrek, don't feel bad. Almost everybody that meets you wants to kill you. Gee, thanks. You see, the Crusades Herald references were military expeditions in world history that were initiated and supported by the Roman Catholic Church who had the goal of seizing the Holy Land from Islamic rule. These religious wars were bloody, violent, and ruthless conflicts, and I think it's very possible that King Harold could have been raging a war against the ogres. Perhaps Harold fought the ogres to take far, far away. You see, in Shrek Forever After, we are shown the reality that ogres were a people of fierce warriors who became a a dangerous threat when they banded together. When they fought as one resistance, they were capable of outsmarting Rumpel, evading witches, and protecting ogres everywhere. And I mean, they even had a horn built into their ears, so clearly they were soldiers at heart. Shrek just didn't know it. I didn't know we could do that. Ogres were willing to rise to any challenges that threatened them, and they weren't willing to remain isolated when their kind were threatened. But this warrior culture clearly didn't exist anymore during Shrek's own life, as he believed ogres were supposed to be alone. In Shrek the Musical, we are shown Shrek being sent away by his parents, and they pressured him to be a big, scary, and gross monster so that he could keep himself safe. Shrek was raised in a culture that was completely different compared to the one we saw in Forever After, and maybe that occurred because at one point they lost a war, so the ogres needed to stay separated and undiscovered to survive. Rumpelstiltskin's open conflict against the ogres in the separate timeline increased the hostility towards ogres, and maybe a similar war took place to escalate ogre hatred before Shrek was even born. By the time of the first Shrek film, people don't just judge him, scream, and run away. People put bounties on Shrek, and some villagers don't even need a reward to attempt to murder him. In the alternate timeline, where Shrek was never born, we even see children being raised to celebrate the death of ogres. Throughout that wild rumple timeline, the ogres were unified against the tyranny they faced and the hostility that was put up against them but we never got to see what they would have done if they would have lost the war. Perhaps prior to Shrek's birth, the ogres lived throughout far, far away as warriors, but King Harold went to war against them to take the city. Sure, the ogres may have rallied together to fight him off, but I think Harold's military forces may have been able to slaughter them, to take all far, far away for themselves. And to rationalize his own actions after his crimes were done, Harold could have also ordered the creation of propaganda that made everyone blindly fear and hate ogres. Well, he's not a guy, per se. Um, he's an ogre. With Far Far Away being ripped away from the ogres, most of their kind dead, and villagers hunting the survivors, that all could have led to the few ogres who survived the slaughter to flee across the land to hide in bogs and swamps, while Far Far Away was turned into a wealthy, sterilized, human-filled place. And I think if you don't believe Harold was truly that selfish, dark, and nefarious at least at some point in his life, I would like to remind you that he did attempt to assassinate Shrek because he was an ogre. <sighs> So much for dad's royal blessing. Yes, he had some influence from the fairy godmother, but Harold still tried to kill his daughter's true love, and that's not good. Although, it brings up an interesting point. Fairy Godmother had full control over Harold ever since she turned him into a human and allowed him to rise as king of far, far away. I helped you with your happily ever after and I can take it away just as easily. Fairy Godmother's goal was to have her son, Prince Charming, rise to the throne of Far, Far Away by marrying Harold's daughter, Fiona. And the way I believe she ensured that marriage would take place was by isolating her through a curse that would transform her into an ogre every night. To see all the original reasons I thought Fairy Godmother cursed Fiona, I'll leave my video on that topic down in the description, but the fact that Harold may have been the man who escalated the hatred and conflict with the ogres just adds an 
extra layer of tragedy to his relationship with his daughter. He was forced to lock her away in a tower, not only because of Fairy Godmother's wishes, but because he built a kingdom where she would not be safe existing as an ogre. Perhaps Fairy Godmother even forced Harold to begin the war with the ogres prior to Fiona's birth, specifically so that the curse she'd place on his future daughter would force him to abide by her plan to arrange Fiona and Charming to be married. Sure, Harold would still have been at large for executing the genocide of the ogres with Fairy Godmother's involvement, but he might not have been the one to conjure up the plan. I think the war against the ogres was all a part of Fairy Godmother's plot to build up far, far away in her image and arrange for the kingdom to be inherited by her son. But the ramifications of this ogre purge may set up the original Shrek story in ways that are even less direct. Maybe King Harold's actions inspired Lord Farquaad to purge all fairy tale creatures from Duloc, which was something Harold wasn't willing to do. He allowed fairy tale creatures like Fairy Godmother to be popular celebrities, and he tolerated the villains who lived on the outskirts of the city. Farquaad felt empowered to torture, imprison, and relocate fairy tale creatures because of King Harold's destructive actions. What is that? King Harold inspired Farquaad to become desperate to create his own perfect world, and with a lack of care and respect for ogres, he eventually determined the first being he would send on a mission to save a princess from her tower would be Shrek. And that is a pretty wild turn of events, because Shrek saving Fiona was the reason they fell in love, got married, and eventually stopped Fairy Godmother's horrible plots. A couple of ogres were the ones who were able to unify humans and fairy tale creatures across far, far away. But fun people, let me know down in the comments if you believe King Harold raged a war against the ogres because of Fairy Godmother's orders. And a special thank you goes out to all of the producers of the channel who back me over on Patreon. If you want to support me directly as I create more videos like this one and you like exclusive behind the scenes videos and live streams, definitely go check out the Patreon page through the link below and have a magical day.